And you and Glenn are away. That makes me the ranking political authority here, doesn't it? First bullshit of the new year. Excuse me, can we not start fresh? Let's have no expletives. Oh, come on, you love it, you saucy slag. Sorry, you don't love it. You saucy slag. Put it on the net. Doesn't matter about content, as long as it's on the net. I mean, just because it's modern. It, 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 the Churchill won the Second World War and, and never Googled once. You know, I got through more than 40 years with absolutely no knowledge of humus, and, and it was fine. I think it's not that modern. It's also hummus, not yeah. humus. Churchill probably He's... ate hummus. Yeah. Hugh, uh, this is Glenn. Oh, Hugh, hi. No, no, I was just ringing your voicemail. Yeah, yes, well, uh, uh, I knew you'd be asleep, so th that's why I was going to leave a message. Well, then you shouldn't have left it on, should you? Yeah, I mean, well, the message is, you know, I've done the handover and I'm out the door. Well, look, I've said I'm sorry, OK? Yes, when I'm out the door, I will insert it up my rectum. Yes, it will be on vibrate. While we're here, we could bat a few ideas around. I want something fluffy for the speech, does the environment? Uh... Slow, it's slow news time. I was thinking, I was thinking more laying into the PM, you know. We could call him, um, what is he? He's, uh... He's a lame duck. Yeah. Lap dog. He's a la la lap dog. The Andrew no, Ridgely sound. to his own Home Secretary is George Michael. That implies his Home Secretary is a drug taking homosexual. That's not well, verifiable. Well, that's not bad, is it? John Deacon. John Deacon. Bass player from Queen. Didn't write that much. Another one bites the dust, but you know, co wrote Friends Will Be Friends, but most of it's Mercury in May. Yeah. Puppet, lap dog, lame duck. Asshole, Oh, good. Yeah. Um, it would be refreshing, wouldn't it? Just to say he's an arsehole. Yeah. The Prime Minister is an arsehole. arsehole. He's looking for the last snog on the dance floor? Yeah. The last, the last bus last home. Last bus last home. Bus, the, but there aren't any the buses bus. because he's... Because he's... An arsehole. What is it with the computer fuck-ups? Every department's got a computer fuck-up. What are they buying? That piece of shit from Blake 7. Malcolm. Malcolm, I've just heard from Pat Morrissey's office. It's actually going to be Pax oh, and Jeremy. Oh, tell us something we don't know, Terry. <sighs> OK, it'll happen to you, by the way. Oh, thanks. What is he going to talk about? Uh, well, I think he's expecting that it's going to be about his new book. But it's not going to be the new book. You know what it's going to be? It's going to be the... fuck up. Not the computer fuck up. Why are you whispering? Well, I don't know. It's just smoke and mirrors, though, isn't it? It's finding a new angle. It's like Marks and Spencer's. You know, you can still get white fronts and white bread there, but you could also get, you know, thongs and panini. You think she wears a thong? Hope not. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if she's got a couple of paninis down there, though. <coughs> <coughs> Is your department looking at a 10 million overspend? Yes or no? Well, I don't have the figures to hand, but all I can say, if there, if there has been an overspend or a perceived overspend within this department, then certainly I think... I'll put it, Oh, for, he's not going to do that, is he? He's not oh, yes, gonna... he will, and he will do a lot more. Jazz hands will be touching you up under the table. He's got all the well, tricks. He won't. Oh, for fuck off, Malcolm. You, listen, first things first, you need some interruption lines, yeah? Yep. Something that you can throw in. All right, how about uh, I will answer the questions in the order you ask them, Jeremy? That yeah. makes you sound like a smug Oxbridge twat. Oh, I, I, I know you are, but everyone doesn't need to know. That guy's going to crumble. He hasn't got the chops. And he thinks he has got the chops, which makes it ten times worse. Pax was going to interrupt him Malcolm, to Malcolm, I've been thinking about it. I think we should pull this interview. I think we should send a statement instead. No, 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 no. That would look appalling. We absolutely need a body in there. Oh, yeah, no, he needs to do it. He should do it. I want him to do it. I'm going to ring around and get everybody to Sky Plus. I want to put the thing on fucking YouTube. OK, well, great. All I'm saying is, do not cross the streams. What? It will be very bad. It's Ghostbusters, another good thing to come out of the 80s. You are such a girly man. Not everything in life can be neatly compartmentalised, OK? You can't put everything into boxes like in middle bloody earth. You know, sometimes the hobbits, those little friendly hobbits, have to be acquainted with the big baddie with his fucking scary eyes and Sound. they have to... Whatever his name is, they have to be friends, OK? It's called politics. Em got all your measurements from your wife. Actually, talking of your wife, Peter, how do you think she'd feel about sort of glamming up a little bit? Just so if I got news for you, don't do any more jokes about her. Just kind of general update, really. Maybe dye her hair. I mean, she's, I mean, she's a lovely woman, obviously. She's gorgeous, and you're obviously devoted to her again. But, you know, she's very grey. I mean, no offence, but she looks a bit like your mum. 
Right. So you 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 want me to go home and say, yeah. darling, the party thinks you look like Irene Handel sorted out. Jesus. Well, I wouldn't. You know, you could choose how you word it. That's probably not the best way, but it's just a suggestion. So you don't know. Well, not not having an answer is not the same as not knowing. So. Well, you don't what the know. fuck is he talking about? Looks like he might be about to shed himself. Is he going to shed himself? I'm going to phone in a fucking bomb scare. That's a sweaty. very sweaty top lip. That is a sweaty, sweaty top lip. I mean, you, you could solve a drought with that. £500 million pounds over, um, well, over uh, the... Well, think, uh, this has got to be the worst fucking ever. Is this a snuff movie or what? This is like watching Bambi's mother being punched by John Leslie. That was a slightly separate overhaul. Well, if you're... Uh, uh, just let me finish there. No, this is it's going to be a root and branch overhaul. Very much Paxo should... is not interrupting. No, the, 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 um, uh, previous Still, at least he'll be pleased. In, uh, yeah, he'll be thrilled, I'm sure. And yeah. that, sorry, His not the department on the rack. You'll be like, hey, Holly, thanks for running the department, although it seems to have all turned to shit. But you're like the man with the Midas touch, except instead of everything you touch turned to gold, it turns to shit. You're like the man with the shit touch. Shit finger. Shouldn't you be online pretending to be a hobbit, eh? Trying to get a date with the lady hobbit? Failing. Shit finger. Oh, hey, hello, here he is. The walk of shame. You never told us you had epilepsy of the eyes. Was that a sweat or were you crying? Have I seen you on the telly? <laughs> yeah, blockbuster, 1991, I got a gold run. You know what? I've never seen anyone sweat so much in my life. And I've had a sauna with Pavarotti. I mean, I know that, that, that politicians and hot air are supposed to go together, but I've never actually seen one vaporise. Can I get you two fellas a drink? I'll have an orange juice, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll have a pint of fuck right off and die, you miserable fucking tosser. Do they do that in here? He's a wee bit disappointed. We'll get your news round next time. You reflected badly on me, and I don't like that. Oh, come on, Jamie, look, I'll get you a drink and then we'll... Do you want a fucking splinter glass facial? I'm not pretending to hate you here. I actually fucking hate you. I'm not playing a fucking game. Fuck off. He trained as a priest. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fantastic. I confess yeah. everything to him. Ollie, Phil pitched you at the uh, cold face idea, and he's going with it. I, uh, I just thought I should warn you. Oh well, thanks a fucking bundle. Yeah, yeah. What else of mine have you been spreading around? Only your chlamydia. I'm an admirer of yours and was wondering if you would like to meet me for a walk on Clapham Common one night when there's not a full moon. That could just be a, somebody who likes walks. Hello? Hello? What is that noise? Are you scraping dead skin off your feet again? That is the noise, Ollie, of a man working in his sister's fucking cottage, working like a you can't say that anymore because it's racist and freezing after death. It's great. I mean, you, you could be out and about, man of the people. That's you, isn't it? And you like people, don't you? Well, who doesn't like people? I mean, uh, some of my best friends are people. Uh, people who need people are the luckiest people. Surprising. OK. What the fuck is going on with this cold face bullshit? Did you OK this? Well, I'm looking at my papers here and, um... No, I don't think anything passed across my desk. You fucking lonely virgin, Julius. You know that's bullshit. Well, um... Where are you tonight? Cos you're not here. What, no invitation for number one party animal, Julius Pete Doherty Nicholson? Who's Peter O'Doherty? Stop trying to joke, OK? Don't joke. You are not funny, Julius. You're about as funny as a blind Todd on a fucking minefield. Ah, uh, Malcolm. Um... Terry's just rung about the uh, wankers announcement, and uh, I thought you wanted to know, Hugh's on the way to the airport, but do you want me to definitely tell him to get on the plane? No, it's too fucking late. What's he going to do, come and shadow the shadow of Dosak shadowing him? Show him where the bogs are. Yeah, but well, you told me to tell him to come home. Did I? Yeah. Right, Hugh, hi. Uh, no, I don't think you're going to be wanted back here. What is the problem? He's on some road somewhere where he can't do a U-turn for about five miles or something. Oh, good. I'd like to know that I can still make him miserable even though he's 12,000 miles away. How's the hovel? Oh, cold, damp and miserable. Don't tell me you're interested. No, I was just being polite. Yeah. Uh, Malcolm, it's, it's uh, Hugh. Hugh, just stay where you are. I don't want us to look as if they've rattled us. Ollie, look, I don't want to talk to you, Ollie. I want to talk to Malcolm. Well, I don't yeah. want to talk to you either, but, you know, Malcolm's talking to Hugh, so it's we've really not got anyone else to talk to, have we? Excuse me. Hello. 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 Hello
Excuse me. Yeah, uh, yes? You are... Um, sorry, um, you are... No, I was just wondering who, who, you, who you were. Um, here. I'm sorry. Uh, who are you? I think I asked first. Um, uh, who are you? Um, well, I'm here with Peter. Uh, I'm just curious as to, as to why you're sort of... Good, uh, good. Is everything um, yes. all right? Yes, no, I'm, I'm, um, I'm a senior well, civil servant in the department. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes, I think I might <coughs> keep an eye on things. Uh, keep an eye? Um, um, so, uh, um, thank you. I'm not spying. You're yes. spying? No, 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 I'm not spying. So you haven't come dashing back in a panic, then? Mm -hmm. I mean, Hugh's in the papers, Malcolm's in the papers. No, 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 my dear Miss Heaney, I assure you, there is nothing like that going on. Everything's fine. Look, look at that. Rock solid. Very oh. impressive. There you are. It's a good thing I didn't show you that one. <laughs> no, no, apart from the very funny business with the hand. No, everything at Dosac's fine, you know, we've got a solid man in there and... Everything's just smooth away. Really? Yeah, really. I was in South Wales, Hughes in New South Wales. Yeah, everything's fine and calm. Calm. Yes, everything's fucking calm. Do you have a problem with calm? <laughs> you are going to be the non-sweaty new face of tough love. Where's your phone? Uh, Give us your phone. Uh, don't, not, not news night, no. I... I mean, no, it's, it's a great policy, really, you know, it, 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 I, I'm, ju I'm just going to get screwed either way, aren't I? I can't deny that. Yes, I mean, that is undoubtedly a possibility. You might well get screwed and I can't do anything about it. You just have to decide whether or not that's something you want to do. So think about it and just tell me, do you feel lucky, punk? Well, well no. No, I, re I really know. Dan Miller is not standing. I know that for a fact. Neither is Blinky Spam fuck. Ben, he's not standing. Yeah. Definitely not, no way. No, well, of course, you would know, wouldn't you? Because you're his new best bum chum. You're his faithful sidekick. You are Tonto from Village People. You're David fucking yeah. funny. You really are amazingly homophobic, aren't you? I was helping to repeal anti-gay legislation while you were still stroking fags behind the school bike shed. Look, how do you know that Ben or, or Dan aren't standing? I mean, you know... They... Because, Clive fucking Dunn, I've got urinal intelligence. Well, oh, that's disgusting. Actually, what does that mean? If you want to know what someone's up to, right? No matter where the huddle is, no matter how tight it is, at some point, he and his guys, they're going to have to go for a slash, right? So you have people go in after them stand at the next urinal, maybe chat, maybe overhear stuff? That is my secret. I've harnessed the power of the third eye. Oh, that is disgusting. I need to go. Or oh, what can you. I go home to? No, no, no. Dark one, you go. Blonde one, you stay. Hugh, can you move away from the engines? I can't hear you. Oh, God. Why don't you just get him to send you an email? Oh, yeah, yeah, from a plane. Well, what's he meant to do? Go and ask the pilot to take it up through the clouds and into... Uh, Cyberspace. You're not actually sure whether cyberspace is a real place or not, are you? You could send an email from a plane. What do you think I'm doing? Pac-Man, what are you doing? Oh, don't be silly. No. There we are. And where have you sent that? Well, to him. You can't use a mobile on a plane. Well, how was he speaking to me? Somewhere in the vicinity of him, there is a plane phone that he can pick up. So keyboard. I send it to last number? Oh. Honestly, this is like talking to an assistant in Dixon's. Send. Any good? There's a thing going around still. OK, well, when we've done that, we can work out how to change your ringtone. No, it won't be him. He's had a stroke. He had a stroke about a year ago. Uh, ten minutes. No, that's it. OK. Yeah. Right, well, thanks for that anyway. Who is Jamie running? Has he got a name? Maybe, maybe Colin Hooper. He's a big puffy nipple, nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, what have you got? Well, someone said that Jamie had been having some drinks with the Midlands Mafia. But then somebody else said that he went over to the MOD to sound out fatty. Really? Fatty? Would fatty bother you? <sighs> what, that fucking space opera and a nappy? No. I, think, I mean, why would fatty do it? Tom would puree him. I don't know. Anyway, Jimmy hates fatty. Yeah, my enemy's enemy is my friend. Yeah, but if my enemy's enemy is fatty, fuck it. Maybe I'll make it up with my enemy. Oh, I don't know, maybe if Jimmy made him an offer that fatty couldn't blow up with his arms. Julius! Hey, Julius Nicholson, Esquire! Who is Jamie Riding? Have you heard? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not getting involved in those shenanigans, Malcolm. 
I'm off to Richmond Terrace to listen to the test. Too many cooks, as I'm sure you well know, spoil... Yeah, go and listen to the fucking cricket. Jesus Christ, go and have a sit down and bang your head against your desk. The sound of orc against fucking willow. Guardian Online, yes. right? The nurses have got Tom to do the questionnaire. What, trying to make himself look more like a human being and less like a calculator with Asperger's? What does he say? When were you happiest at the birth of my son? Bollocks, he wasn't even at the birth of his son. Actually, no, he was in an all-night sitting of the communications bill, fast asleep. And his sister-in-law woke him with a text. What was the last CD you bought? The Scissor Sisters. <laughs> and do we believe him? Which living person do you most admire? Ah, uh, well, that's tough. Nelson Mandela. Correct. I think you just press F5 for that one, to be absolutely honest with you. How do you relax? Cannabis and wanking? He hasn't. No, of course he hasn't, you idiot. Listening to opera. Oh, right. While wanking. Straight from Ben's mouth, the, the exact phrase he used was no pa Yep. Ben. OK, listen, uh, I've, I've got to go. All right, cheers. Lenny. <laughs> Well, if it isn't George Michael. So who was on the phone? That was just my mum. She was telling me not to speak to any strange men. Look, Ollie, I, I know there's a lot of nest feathering going on tonight. Well, that's fine, OK, but may I just remind you that you, your boss, is on a plane over the Pacific. Well, that's a very bad route from Australia now, isn't it, Glenn? Listen, you giggling little tampon. Do you know when Hugh and I sucked you out of that pool of chicken fuckers at Millbank? That was because we thought you could be something. Ah. Gentlemen, I interrupted anything? Yeah. No, 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 Glenn was just cross because uh, he gave me a paper towel and I didn't tip him very well form. <laughs> Listen, um, Ben, may I have a word? Um, um, look, I know how it works. Tom, you know, is going to have to take on one or two people he doesn't really like just to show that he's got some political instincts. Yeah, the hostages. Exactly, the hostages. Now, you know, I was thinking, Hugh's a good man. Mm, yeah, so maybe you could see your way from uh, reprising him from the being shot in the head tonight camp to the, no, 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 we're just torturing him for six months and then we're going to shoot him in the head. <laughs> oh, you really are good. You're really good. Hey, I'll uh, see you later at the hotel, yeah? Come yeah. and sup from the goblet of governance. Yeah, I'd love to, um... Up. So, I'm going to pop back there now. Start planning the next cabinet, eh? Got fantasy football going. I mean, yeah, it's no fantasy because it's totally fucking real. Why tonight? Of all fucking nights, why tonight? Oh, well, that's easy. Tucker's Law. If some cunt can fuck something up, that cunt will pick the worst possible time to fucking fuck it up because that cunt's a cunt. I've got that embroidered on a tea towel at home. How, how's Tom holding up? It's hard to say, to be honest. Oh, well, thanks for that, Raggy Omar. Well, um, next guy, Rob, rang Davis and asked him if he was worried about the antidepressant thing. He said he wasn't yeah. until Rob rang him in the middle of the night and asked him if he was. Now they've just basically stopped sounding everybody out. Oh, Jesus. I mean, talk about government and paralysis. This is the special fucking Olympics. By the way, Dan Miller is on today, tomorrow. And that's gone down like the 1980s ferry. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Keep talking Hugh up. All right, uh, who too? Tom's people, Dan's people? Uh, just general talking up. What am I supposed to say? He can whistle the cockroach out of his arse? Julian? Yeah. Nicholson! Mm. That baldy pussy! Mm. But I tell you, if he thinks he's leaking now, you wait to see him when I'm finished with him. He'll look like fucking Mel Gibson's Jesus! Fuck! 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 Dear. Christ, Darian, that's what you wanted me to do. You wanted me to do that. Listen, Robin, that was good news. The job is done. What? Leak discovered. We're on the upside. But I could have been looking like Mel Gibson's Jesus. Well, it might suit you. Ah, oh, right, we're going to need, need a media strategy. Yes. I want to, to preempt Miller yep. on today. I need, I need to put some feelers out, because I want to look kind of sort of subtle yet forceful. Yep. I don't want to overplay my hand and look, uh -huh. look grabby, but I don't, I don't want to look underconfident and, uh, and, and wanky sure. either. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, the, look at it, though. This could be history, yeah? Like this is history. our granita. <laughs> right, uh, OK, I'm going to need an office. Yes, uh, out, out, Robin, we need this. Uh, take, take over, this is yours. I'm going to need yeah? the office, Robin. Yeah. Right, me, um, media strategy, we need a media Fine. strategy. OK, I can book you on today before Dan Miller. Yeah. That's easy. Straight after the racing tips in the Melbourne yep, Brake Taylor, yep, basically. Yep. Um, and uh, shall I start flying some kites with the press? Offer right. me around. Yep. Just say that I am. I'm the, I'm the heavyweight yep. and the voice of hope. I'm the new. I'm the heavyweight. I'm the heavyweight of hope. Heavyweight. Yeah. What if they say, you know, well, hey, he's just a blinky dork. What? 
Well, just being devil's advocate for a minute, what, what if they were to say, you know, you're, you're a blinky door? Well, no one's going to, who's going to say that? They might say a lot of things. We're not going to say that, are they? Because it's just, it's, just, no. it's just rude. It's yeah. horrible. Yeah, sorry, I was, I was thinking outside the box, yeah. worst case scenario and all that. Sorry. Where's your, where's your laptop? Let's write this uh, stuff right, down. I'll give my laptop. Otherwise it'll, um, it'll go. Uh, uh, I need you, A, yep. uh, start rowing yourself back from this I will not stand position. Right. Uh, uh, B, I want uh, a statement for today. You're going to yep. need to be absolutely on top of that. C, uh, a broadsheet think piece. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, uh, uh, just setting out goals, core beliefs, uh, yes. uh, mission statement, really, yeah. that kind of oh, thing, yeah? Yeah, I love that shit, yeah. absolutely. Right, we'll do, uh, we'll do breakfast, yeah, breakfast yes. meeting, 6am. Yeah, absolutely, but in, in the meantime, I have the, I'm going to float you, yes? I've got the authority to float you. Fuck yes, you have the authority. Okay. Yes, you can float me, yeah, I'll float, float me all the fucking... God bless me and all who fucking sail in me, do yeah? right, okay, yeah. Fuck yes. Ooh. So you needed the office, did you? Not using it now, it's fine. Exactly. Great work. I think things have got a little bit. I have never had what anyone what? speak to me in my life like this before. Well, it's it enough to give me a heart attack. Here. I'm going to have to sit down. Do and I want, want a glass of wine. I want a glass, glass of red wine. What the fuck? I'm not going to have a glass of wine. Get get a a of wine. Glass of wine. This man again. This man is going to give me a heart attack. God, just shut the fuck up. Hey, hey. I will kill him. No, no, no. I will kill him. You're going to have to call the police. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Listen, I will kill him. Don't you worry. You don't have to get your hands dirty. I will fucking kill him. But, you know, I've been just here dealing with stuff, whereas Terry, well, she's been pretty busy all night long. You are really... I've just about had enough of you tonight, Robin. This has started early. You're carping, you're whinging, your lack of professionalism. I have been fighting fires from before you had a hot dinner. Not just here, not just here, but waiters in other places. Shush, keep them apart, right? Visit us here. Can you be a realist for I five minutes? Realist. Just say, you were right, Jamie, and I'll leave it at that. Yeah, oh, you're fabulously stop. right. Who is your choice? Again. My choice is not Tom. That's my choice, not Tom. This is, yeah. this is the Psycho Billy stuff. What is this? I mean, this is crazy. It's crazy fucking stuff. Jimmy Boyle stuff. I did Who a good do you think thing. you're impressed? You're not doing a good thing. I did a good you thing. You are causing problems here. Every time we try to get something going, you start with this fucking... Peter McDougall, okay, 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 Saturday, okay. every Saturday, fucking okay, Glasgow, okay. fucking Gorbals, diehard bullshit. Jesus Christ, I wish I'd never dragged you out of that seminary. You'll be back there fucking giving old Jesuits blowjobs for a tanner before you know it. Behave yourself. All right, all right. Cool it. Okay. No surrender, eh? <laughs> no, I understand completely. Uh, what? Shh. Uh, Claire likes to uh, go to parties and put on a blindfold and then fuck whoever picks her keys out of a, a, a bowl. Oh, she's got, all her kids have got different fathers. She's got another one on the way. She doesn't know who the father is. She doesn't even know what colour it is. And this is there anybody else? Is she the only one blindfolded? Yes. Because how does she know? Are the others are the others blind? Are the others well, blind? Well, on that, <clears throat> thank you very much indeed for your support and uh, uh, attempt at confidentiality. And I think I will go. I'm, I'm um, not going to tell anybody else apart from these guys. All 95 of them. Yeah. Lovely. They Thank you very much further, indeed. Then. No. Yeah. not tell the car from the scam. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Slack, Alice. Go and play your blind man's chuff. Mm. Spend that. Spend that.